basically here. <coughs> Hoping that'll be enough to dissuade uh, dissuade them from attacking further. Uh, we'll see how this goes. It looks like Butterbread uh, still feeling... Well, he's got some backup from his, his Dominion uh, allies, so yeah, feeling very frisky. Feels like he can take this uh, lead on. <coughs> and... I think, uh, I think Federation needs to get out of there now. They're gonna start facing uh, ships that they can't... Yep, Bog's uh, calling out. Uh, he's gonna lose that Intrepid right here, and he's gonna lose this galaxy as well. So, uh, trying to send this this ship up. Oh, and he is uh, Risner. Okay, yep. But uh, still losing the galaxy, gonna lose this Intrepid. So, a bad trade um, there. Uh, he was hoping that there weren't any ships in that area, and... Uh, but uh, a well-coordinated attack by the, uh, or defense by the top team. Uh, while we're paused, I'm gonna look at kind of the relative strengths here. Again, um, cavorts everywhere. And looks like we're still building bombers. Uh, it's got the uh, supply uh, mining up for Dominion. Two, uh, two supply miners at the one Tritanium moon. Now that he's got uh, Tritanium here. So doing a, god, doing a good job there. Mort looks like he is still producing Vorcha. And that's it. He is not producing anything else. Um, here is uh, Air Ash's fleet, really taking on this constructor, uh, and Clintstat backing him up. Um, that's going to be just huge for the bottom. So, uh, looks like he's going to be a very, very powerful rush here. And we've got, uh, let's see, four probes, one scout cube, and just a mix of uh, a few Quebecs, or Kubej, followed by uh, the Vorcha. Uh, the Vorcha, no special, no special on the Kubej. Uh, here we've got the Urati Yard um, being built up, and as he is Risner, um, he is going to benefit from some of the better ships there. I have a feeling Boggs will try to tech up. He's already at the level two, and so he is building Akira's. He's gonna build some heavier ships here, um, trying to keep the defense up. So here we've got Vorchaz. Um, again, the, this yard survived, um, which is good for them here. Oh, and a sphere! And this is a different little, little bit of a different configuration than I'm used to seeing. Um, Let's see, I'm assuming that it is uh, one beam and three, uh, three regen based on the energy configuration there. So, really nice. Really doing a good job of taking out uh, Mort's mining. And uh, Mort is the player you want to take out. Um, if you'll notice, there's really no support. Uh, the Dominion are here, they're gonna help support, but it's just not gonna be enough. Although I would like to see uh, this fleet moving away from uh, this here. We can see Mort has upgraded once his starbase uh, and is actually really doing a good job of taking out this sphere. Not quite the right target, not quite the target you would want to see uh, being taken out, but I don't know, they're focusing fire on the sphere, so they are gonna get it, uh, especially with these um, these ships here uh, ramming and keeping the sphere uh, right in range of that uh, starbase. Actually, this turned out very well. Um, so <laughs> it's like the, the beach ball is going to uh, get deflated there. Oh, and uh, losing uh, some Vorchak, once that is, he's not. I don't think this is gonna survive. These. Oh. Just barely survived. Uh, good one for the Vorcha. So, good job 
by Elam defending and protecting his teammate, those bugs, it just shows you how powerful those bugs can be. Um, you know, when they need when you need to stop something, keep it in, keeping it in a range of the star base. So still we're seeing bombers and bugs, bugs and bombers. Um here are the feds. Uh moving in, uh not a very large fleet though. Um you know, it's I guess it's fairly evenly matched the uh the intrepid's help uh versus all those kubej. And if okay, and uh production has been stopped here. Uh, where, where does he have any kind of, uh, ship production? Uh, it looks like he stopped. It looks like his mining has just been, uh, and his resources have been really been taken out. While Boggs continues to build up and, uh, gets a nice draw with the, with the ship here, the, uh, Nebula class. So, oh, but here, here comes some support and Boggs is going to be caught, uh, piecemeal. And yep, as we can see, he's running away. This uh, this ambassador just barely holding on due to its passive um, being able to reduce some damage. And coming back down here, um, yeah, the top team is still keeping the pressure on. Uh, what's everywhere, just uh, kind of cleaning up on these long, slow, long-range ships. Same with the bombers, being able to uh, take out these ships. Even though the bombers take a little bit more damage, uh, they are doing a, they were doing a good job there. Now uh, we've got to have uh, Butterbread get out of there, um, and we see he is so. Good job there, and it looks like that's about it. Uh, everyone's kind of staying in their respective spot for now. So I want to see what Butterbread is doing. Okay, Cavorts and Kubej and building a battle yard. Um, you know, I would have probably uh, built a battle yard here. Um, as have to, as having a nice proxy yard would be great there. Um, call in some, you know the support from your teammates. Uh, do allied repair. Looks like Elam. Uh, only one of his ships was really damaged. So, um, but uh, you know, Butterbread uh, thinking that uh, he needs to. You know he wants the heavier ships, but he doesn't want to risk uh, having the yard exposed. So. Um, it's a trade-off there. I, I still would have gone with the yard there, but uh, we'll, we'll see uh, if that affects the game or not. Borg over here with dodes and probes and everything, and they're trying to uh, take over this Gorcha. Not going to happen, I don't think. Uh, as Oh, well, Mort, uh, Mort's trying to beam on there, but it's not going to happen. Uh, the Borg are going to take this over. And uh, it's lost engines, but uh, the Borg are going to quickly repair the engines, as we can see here. And they're going to try to protect this uh, ship. Nicely done by Arash. Um, it's doing a great job. Um, over here we've got Klinstat. And over here, oh, the bombers. Oh, this is Bomber City. And uh, these bombers are just going to trash uh, these ships. First taking out, the, taking out this... Uh, Borcha, and now probably going to go after the, uh, it looks like he's going after the probes. Um, Dode, you get more hit chance with the Dode, and uh, it is kind of the major damage dealer right now. Um, although, oh, it's, uh, maybe not, I'm sorry. Normally, uh, this is a uh, support Dode for... But uh, it, it has no, um, you know, nothing really using too much special energy. <coughs> and no sphere with holding beam to uh, recharge, so, huh. But now he's getting pushed back by Mort and 
Um, yeah, if he's not careful, he could even lose this spear. So over here we've got uh, Butterbread back in the game. Um, many more ships, um, and he's tangling with the feds. Um, I would still give the game to... Oh, right now, I, I would say it's pretty evenly matched. Um, Butterbread doing a good job of, of moving those ships away. Um, it does kind of seem like... Oh, I don't... It's hard to call this one. Um, it looks like the uh, <coughs> Remora has used all of its special energy, so ships are kind of tapped tapped out, um, but uh, looks like maybe it's maybe it's a little bit more in the Federation's favors just because of these uh, Akiras are doing such a good job of staying alive, um, and warp in support is here, so, uh, and we've got a galaxy, two Excelsiors, um, going to be great against these uh, Edge class ships. So there is, uh, does look like this is the Fed's game right now. Uh, they are pushing up hard and strong uh, into the base here. Uh, looks like someone lost. Uh, <coughs> looks like this ship has lost uh, life support. So hopefully we'll get there back to uh, repair in time. Uh, let's see, Butterbread really. Oh, gonna send uh, his ships where he can. We see here Klinstat really doing a number. Um, and uh, you know, I, I just I don't see uh, too many Borg ships. Although he uh, Air Ash is rebuilding very quickly. Um, Boggs over here uh, sending a constructor. Uh, we'll probably see him, you know, building from there. You know, really. Right now, it looks like it's uh, bottom teams' games just because they've denied both expansions, and everyone on the bottom team has the expansion. Um, you know, I'm not really sure how uh, we'll see how the uh, top team works to uh, turn this around. Uh, they are starting to burn down the ships that Boggs does have. So, uh, and now we've got a uh, veteran. Uh, and it's gonna stay in there. Um, oh, gonna go to repair. Um, looks like Butters needs to, uh, you know, send his ships to repair early. And you, know, if he can keep these Federation ships uh, from leaving, then uh, he stands a good chance of, you know, taking out the bulk of Boggs' fleet. It looks like. Um, I want to look down here and see what Boggs, Boggs is doing Defiance. <laughs> so, Defiance and Akira's, he is going to go really dilithium heavy. Um, as we can see here though, we've got uh, Air Ash, or uh, we've got Klinstat with his just Mondo fleet of Cavorts, um, taking out shipyard production. Uh, Elam's going to really have to play it uh, pretty, pretty tough. And now uh, the Borg with two spheres and some probes really, uh, really taking the win here. It's, it's tying up Mort. Mort has to defend against this. And Elam is uh, tied up trying to defend against this massive fleet of Borchas. Uh, it's really just uh, really turned around quickly. Uh, I wish I would have uh, seen a replay of, or, you know, focused on this. Uh, fleet as it was taking out uh, the Dominion's expansion here. And here we see Klinstat moving away. He's not going to engage. Uh, he's in fact going to go over to Butters who is already hurting. He's going to help support Boggs as it uh, looks like Boggs has just made a proxy yard and is going to repair from that proxy yard. And he's going to send up his, uh, his Defiant. He's got a Defiant on the board and no special yet, but uh, He's got the ships to defend against this. And now that uh, Butters has moved all of his ships away, nothing to defend. 